we're back for another vlog and we're at the Fort Worth Zoo again. The whole family here again. Everyone, all the cool people. Yeah, we're all here and uh, we just got done eating lunch. And that's one good thing about coming here is we brought our food in. Instead of buying food here, we brought in Jimmy John's and we just finished eating. It was delicious and uh, we're about to start walking. Look how cute. Cheers. I think we're going to start with the primate house. Yeah. But yeah, I've been a lot more careful. I think those are colobus monkeys, don't they? They look like skunks. See that pretty bird? A yellow bird! I know, it's got a yellow head. This is also the biggest fiddle leaf fig I've ever seen. What do you see? Is a bird? Monkeys? You're five feet. This is the outside. Yeah. We're in the town. But I don't see them. Let's see inside. Here he is. Excuse me, a man rule. There he is, right there. Rafiki. All right. Well, next is the elephants, and it looks like they're doing a demonstration right now. Can't wait for the splash. This is cool. This is Bowie. Bowie is nine years old. He was born here at the zoo back in 2013. He, his mother is Blue Bonnet. Blue Bonnet is currently out in the main habitat with his little brother, Brazo, who was born here about a year ago. So what Abby's gonna now demonstrate is some of the training that, and the behaviors that we have these guys do. This is stuff we do with them on a daily basis. It's called husbandry training, husbandry behaviors. These are behaviors that help us take care of these guys. Bowie here weighs a little over 6,000 pounds. That was really cool. This is the first time we've seen that. This is the uh, fourth time we've been here. And uh, it's not too busy, so there wasn't as many people there. And we kind of walked up when they first started it. So that was, was real fun. I definitely recommend that. This is the elephant enclosure. So this is where all of them are. Next area is a rhino viewing spot. Wow, that looks amazing. Way over there. Oh my goodness. 
There's another rhino area on the other side of the elephants, which we'll go see in a minute. Right over there in the corner. All right, we're staying on this side of the zoo and headed toward the uh, African savanna. And over here they have things like, uh, have another rhinoceros and um, giraffes and all the African animals. Most of those animals that we just saw are, well, say most of them, the elephants and the rhino were, were Indian animals, whereas these are African. That's why they call it African savanna, I guess. And then I think we're in like an Africa kind of city. Yeah. This is a cool area because this is kind of like Disney. They have like the um, separate kinds of cities like Africa and yeah. Asia. And so you get to walk in and you get to see the animals. It's themed really well. Giraffes. Alright, here are the giraffes. Come walk over here in the shade and you can see the giraffes. Look, they're all on the other side, and we'll make a circle, and you can see them really close on the other side. To me, the ostrich is one of the coolest animals here. It's just amazing how big that bird can be. He's taller than you. Wow. A bird. And do you know they can run so super fast? He's trying to pick you. Oh, hi. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, hi. He's trying to pick you. He would pick you so hard if he could in the game. Wow. All right, we got meerkats and African rhinos. It's meerkat. Rhino's a no-show right now. It's probably around the corner. Okay. It's a cool spot. It's the hippos with all of the little fish cichlids, I guess that would be. There he is. Sailor, you see him? Sailor. Wow. The hippopotamus. The hippopotamus. The hippopotamus. The hippopotamus. You see him? It's a hippo butt. <laughs> you see him swimming? Look how big his butt is. That was crazy. It's a cool to see him. The hippopotamus was sticking his nose above the water. You could see him above. Look. Look at that. Look how big he is right there. Wow. Yeah. Look, look at all the hair on his nose. He's got some hair. He's got a little mustache. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to see if we get oh. him up for air. Got you. Let's take a picture of his butt. You want to? You want to take a picture? All right. Now we're walking around the back side of the savanna enclosure. Probably get some better footage of the giraffes. That's a really fun time feeding the giraffes um, the lettuce. So it costs oh. uh cost us five dollars for uh, a few pieces of lettuce. Um, we got one for each kid. Everybody got to feed um, one leaf of uh, romaine. All right, well, we're headed back to the middle of the park because we've pretty much finished this side of it. So we go back to the middle and then we go the opposite way. The first thing over there is the reptile exhibit. So we're gonna go walk through that. It's inside and it's air conditioned and it's really hot. So it's much needed. All right, this is the uh, this is going to be the big cat exhibit. There's going to be other stuff too, and that's coming 2023. And it seems like every time we come, they make progress on it. When we came a couple of years ago, it was just fence, but now 
a lot of rocks and stuff like that. They don't have lions and other big cats here. They do have mountain lions, but not like African lions and stuff. So this is gonna be great. All right. It's the Museum of Living Art. So it's reptiles, amphibians, and more. So it's not just reptiles. And this sign is really cool. Yeah. Two of them. amphibian bug fish exhibit and we're headed to the other side of the park um, there is a bird area here that we're gonna skip and because we don't have a lot of time and then there's also a stingray touch pool here that we're going to skip for now because you have to pay extra for it and um, we don't have a lot of time the little boys really because want to Ryan see really the mountain lions oh, and the, the petting zoo, so we're going to uh, head head that way. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. So on the way to the petting zoo is the uh, penguin area and the kangaroos, and it's actually we've got this long walk between the mola and the rest of the zoo, and um, over there it's like the other bird exhibits and stuff, but on the way is the penguins and the kangaroos and you can actually walk through it and and be uh, in the texas area the texas area is called texas wild it's got like an old west town and then a lot of animals that are found in texas and a few of them being mountain lions which the little boys really want to see headed into texas wild we've got train depot a carousel and a uh, petting zoo and then after that area you get into the texas town and then you go through the texas town to see the texas animals I can't believe how well this is all the animals they have super cool Come here. Come here. 
Come here. Ah. Look. Look through there. You see the bald eagle? Look past you. Can you see it? Look through there. one of them all, Jaguar. Andrew Jaguar. It's a Jaguar. All right, well, we made it back to the front of the entrance where the splash pad is. And um, That's my we uh, couldn't go in because they were closed. We, we checked the, the hours yesterday and it's supposed to be open today until six. And so we were going to save the last hour of the zoo. And so we went back there. We found out that it was closed. So all the kids are upset, but it's okay. We're going to go try to find a uh, splash pad in the city somewhere and hopefully find somewhere these kids can play and make them happy. But, but that was the zoo. I hope you enjoyed it. We had fun. And we'll uh, see you in the next vlog. See ya. Where are we at? No, I can't. We're in a stagecoach. This is how people used to travel. If you didn't ride your own horse, you could ride in a stagecoach pulled by horses. And I need to put horses up. Or you could put horses on it.